Can you please tell me about this? Sure. Um, in this kind of setup, um, it's a 2U tank, um, so for 2U server. Um, we have immersed a, um, a 2U server of a gigabyte, and um, this has been actually um, a, um, a special server with um, up to 16 PCIe cards. Mm -hmm. And um, although this uh, server has been originally made mm -hmm. for um, uh, inference cards okay. um, with lower power, we've sure. modified it a little bit uh, so that we can run 16 full-scale GPUs at full power. So that's, um, I think, um, currently the highest density of um, two U servers with GPU cards um, everywhere in the world. And um, that wouldn't be possible without using the immersion cooling technology. Uh, by using the immersion cooling technology, we're able to remove the big bulky heat sinks, which you usually find on the GPUs, and place them with a tiny, thin copper plate. That's already enough to cool down the GPUs. Okay. And uh, have you had a lot of interest so far at the show uh, regarding uh, immersion cooling, your immersion cooling solution? Oh yes, very much. So, um, just a few years ago, the interest was not so, not so great yet, but um, we see that with the advent of immersion cooling, that more and more customers um, really want to take a look into immersion cooling. Uh, this um, server, for example, in our cooling system is a prime example of how to save a lot of space. For example, in metropolitan areas, if you want to set up a data center, like an edge data center in um, uh, Tokyo, London, uh, New York, Singapore, and so on, where real estate costs are very expensive, we're able to make a very big impact on the capital expenditure savings. So that is some, something where we see with, um, uh, the stronger um, uh, trend towards AI that immersion cooling, two-phase immersion cooling specifically from our company, will have um, a great future. Okay.